Aegis Part 2. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 2 on the lecture on Aegis. Let's get started. Problem 1. Hitesh is 40 years old and Roni is 60 years old. How many years ago was the ratio of the ages 3 is to 5? Now the first sum is very easy. They've told you that Hitesh is 40 years old and Roni is 60 years old. And they've asked you how many years ago was their age ratio 3 is to 5. Right? Now you want to know what is on this side. Now in the first video I've told you that if the current age is some 40 say, then x years ago will be 40 minus x. Correct? So if his current age is 40 years old, x years ago it will be 40 minus x. Let us just assume that the answer is x years ago. Right? And now this fellow will be 60 minus x. Correct? Now if you just cross multiply, it will be 5 into 40 minus x is equal to 3 into 60 minus x. 5 into 40 is 200 minus 5x is equal to 3 into 60 is 180 minus 3x. Now take 180 here and take 5x that side. So 200 minus 180 will be 20 and plus 5x minus 3x will be 2x. Implies x is equal to 20 by 2 or 10, 10 years. So the answer is 10 years. Now just see this. If he's 40 years old now, 10 years ago he was 30 and this fellow was 50 years. So 30 is to 50, if you divide by 10, it will be 3 by 5, right? Problem 2. A person's present age is two-fifth of the age of his mother. After eight years, he will be one-half of the age of his mother. How old is the mother at present? Alright, now they've said that the present age of a son is two-fifth his mom's age. Now let us assign the current age of the son as x and the current age of mom is y, right? Now they've said that the current age x will be two-fifth of the mom's age. And they said eight years later, right, x plus eight will be one half, one by two, of the mom's age. You can't write y because the mom will also age after eight years. So y plus eight. Now just simple simplification. Let's just keep this as y is equal to five by two of x. It's the same thing. I've just taken five and divide by two, right? Now let's simplify this part. x plus two, uh, x plus eight, sorry, into two, I'm multiplying this here, is equal to y plus eight, right? So this is two x plus 16 is equal to y plus eight. But we know that y is 5 by 2 into x. So we'll substitute that here. So it'll be 5 by 2 x plus 8. This is 2x plus 16. Now you take an LCM here, it'll be 5x plus 16 upon 2. And this is 2x plus 16. Now get this 2 here and multiply. So it's 4x plus uh, 16 into 2 is 32 is equal to 5x plus 16. Right? I'll just take it on the side. Five, I'll bring the 4x here and 16 here. So you will get 32 minus 16 is equal to 5x minus 4x. So 16 is equal to x. But this is not your answer. x is the son's age. y is the mom's age. They've asked you the mom's age. So y will be equal to 5 by 2 into x. x is 16. 2 ones are 2 eights are. So 5 into 8 is 40. So your answer is 40 years. Problem 3. One year ago, Priya was four times as old as her daughter Shruti. Six years hence, Priya's age will have exceeded her daughter's age by nine years. The ratio of the present ages of Priya and her daughter is... Alright, now for the third problem, let us assign Priya as P and Shruti as S. They said that one year ago, Priya was four times Shruti's age. Right? And six years hence, that means their present age is P and S. Six years hence, Priya, so P plus six, is 9 years elder than Shruti. So Shruti's age after 6 years will be S plus 6 plus 9, right? So Priya is 9 years elder than Shruti's age after 6 years. Alright, now just solve these equations. So now you can write the first one as P minus 4S. This minus 1 if you take it there, this will be minus 4 plus 1. So it will be minus 3, correct? And this one will be uh, P, you take S here, so it will be minus S. Then you take minus 6 here and you got plus 6 here, so they cancel out, it will be 9. Correct? Now, just subtract both these equations. So now you've got minus plus minus. Plus P minus P cancels out. Minus 4S plus S. So it will be minus 3S. Minus 3 minus 9. Minus 12. So minus 3S is equal to minus 12. Or S is equal to minus 12 upon minus 3. Minus 3 1s are, minus 3 4s are. So we know Shruti's age is 4. 
right? Now we go to Priya's age. To find Priya's age, we need to just substitute S in any of these equations. So let's take the second one. So now you got P plus 6 is equal to S is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 9 is 19. So 19 implies P is equal to 19 minus 6, that is 13. So the ratio of the ages P is to S will be equal to 13 is to 4. Right? Alright, so this was part 2 on lecture on ages where we saw a couple of problems. In part 3 and part 4, I'll solve different varieties of problems. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about it on Facebook. Thank you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get access to many more updated videos. Cheers.